Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about a multiple entry situation that may occur in LR0 parsing table called shift reduce conflict. Hi everyone. The next topic uh, that we are discussing here is a conflicting situation in table. Okay. So we have already seen this uh, table and we find that both of them, uh, both the example, the table that we constructed is in uh, LR0. The reason was there was no conflicting situation. Now what we are going to do, we are going to see a situation where there may be some problem involved uh, with the table and uh, the name of that problem or we can say conflicting situation is a shift reduce conflict okay so here i'll do the same thing that i have done uh, <clears throat> already augmentation has been done so i'll create a lr0 collection for it and uh, i've not taken very uh, big problem for this so this is the grammar and i'll create a lr0 collection for it and uh, this e derive e dash derive e a derive dot t plus e putting a dot over here and then a derive t dot dot t and dot is in front of t and then t derive dot id okay so this is my first state i zero state i can call it as and this is i zero state now on input e this will become what i'll write here e, d, e dash derive e dot and this is i1 on input t e derive t dot plus e for one t and there's another t so i will not create a new state t dot and that state I will call it as I2. On input ID, this will become T derive ID dot. And I will call it that as I3. On input plus, E derive T plus dot E. Again, E production will be included. E derive dot t plus e and e derive dot t and t derive dot id reason dot is in front of e and here dot is in front of t and that is my i3 and this state is new state is your i4 <clears throat> okay so now uh, here on input uh, t again it will be t dot plus e and e derived t dot so on input t it will go back here on input id it will go back to this state i3 and the last one is your on input e and that will become e derived t plus e dot And that I call it as I5. So we are done with this and the total number of steps is I0 to I5. Okay, I don't need the I6 row here. Uh, we can cut it down that I don't require this row. We have only the number of state as I0 to I5. Fine. So now let me just give the number also 0th production, 1 production, 2 production and 3 production. Okay. So let's fill the table here and let's fill the appropriate entry. I0 on input, okay, I0 on input E going to the state I1. On input T going to the state I2. On input ID going to the state I3. I1 is a special state and the dollar will come, then it will become accept. I2 on input plus is going to the state i4 on input plus going to the state i4 and uh, that's all i guess and <clears throat> i3 is a reduced state so we'll put the entry i4 is a i4 on input uh, t going to the state i2 on input i4 on input t going to the state i2 and on input e going to the state i5 and on input uh, this one is uh, 
id go into the state i3 now let's come back to this uh, reduce entries and uh, where are our reduce entry i3 so this is my reduce entry and the number here of id is r3 so in i3 i will write uh, reduce by third production reduce by third production reduce by third production for every terminal i5 okay i5 and it is r1 so i'll write here r1 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 are we missing something here okay is it all is it all or are we missing something so we are missing this e derived t dot which is a part of what which is part of i2 okay so this is what e derived t dot is what it's a reduction entry so this one is a reduction entry okay and what is the rule for the reduction entry put it everywhere so we'll put it everywhere we'll put here a different color okay we'll put it here as uh, number is 2 so we'll put here r2 and i will put here r2 put here r2 now this situation which where you have a state and its state is consist of uh, two entries r2 is for reduction and i4 is for shift so r2 is for the reduction part r2 is for the reduction and uh, i4 is for shift in a single cell huh? where both are in single cell single cell so a single cell consists of reduction as well as shift leads to what situation and that situation we'll call it as shift reduce conflict okay so that situation we termed as shift reduce conflict and uh, it has to be it has to be multi or or we can say as is as one as as was in lr uh, ll1 multiple entry so multiple entry okay multiple entry so there is a multiple entry and the category of the multiple entry is sr shift reduce okay and that is coming in the table not in this collection not in the state it should be sr should present in present in table when you construct the table there should be multiple entry okay so that is one situation of the multiple entry is a shift and reduce another situation for the multiple entry is a, r and r that is your uh, that is called as reduce reduce okay reduce reduce shift shift is not a conflicting situation and we don't have a multiple entry reason that we send both of the input in a single state so there is a some takeaway from this that uh, what is a what where it is leading to a shift reduce conflict and that conflict is a <clears throat> that conflict is a category of sr uh, sr or shift reduce conflict leading to a conflicting situation and this grammar is not lr0 so this is given grammar okay where i can write okay i can write it here that the given grammar the given grammar is not not what multiple entry not lr0 okay uh, that's all for this session and uh, i hope i am you i am able to explain you the required uh, concept and you are clear with the concept of shift reduce okay so thank you